our heroes, having foiled Plankton's evil plans, continue across the desert. But Plankton remains one stubby step ahead of them. He sends someone to make sure that they will fail. He is a vicious, ruthless killer named Dennis. <laughs> Fortunately, SpongeBob and Patrick have discovered the paddy wagon in a parking lot. But the key is missing. So the only thing to do is to go into the rough, tough bar and look for it. Good luck, my friends. You're going to need it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, yes. You are so going to need it. I really like how... Uh... You have to get the key to the paddy wagon back. The thug tug is a lot bigger than from what I remember it being. In the movie, it was just a pretty simple bar, but here... Good news, Patrick. You've got enough Goofy Goober tokens for me to teach you a new ability. Awesome. The smash attack. My flop is the mightiest flop of all! It's called the smash. Way to try to be edgy in an E-rated game. You can do the ass smash. Come on, we 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 all know it's gonna be the ass smash. In the air? Yes, you have to be in the air for the smash to work. You can use it to press buttons, break through floors, and even defeat enemies. The paddy wagon is parked outside, but you'll need to get the key back to use it. We know. That doesn't sound hard. You'll probably have to defeat all of the thugs to get to it. That sounds hard. You can do it, I know you can. Well, if you believe in me, then I can do it. The, the key, key to the paddy, to the wagon. paddy wagon. Careful. Easy. You got it! <laughs> Ouch. All right, so we got a lot of thugs to deal with here. All right, so if you don't remember last time. Um, oh, I did the smash by attack, uh, by mistake. All right, so if you remember last time, I upgraded uh, Patrick's main spin attack, which is this. I'm sure some of you are wondering why the red band appears around it. Well, it means it's more powerful, but also, motherfucker. Uh, Patrick's spin attack can now deflect enemy projectiles. I know. It's awesome. And, uh, it's a necessary skill. Fuck you. My god, I swear, the hit detection on these dog guys doesn't work half the time. Jesus Christ. I need a fucking Krabby Patty, like, now. Uh, I don't see any Krabby Patties. Alright. You just gotta move on and pray to God you don't get hit again. Which is probably asking for a lot. Alright, so ass smash that. Uh, let's see. Gotta swing across here. Ah, thank God, a Krabby Patty. And a lot of dynamite barrels. Run away, run away, run away. Awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this Krabby Patty. What's up with... What's up with the walking sound effect of Spongebob anyway? It's not the right sound effect and we all know it. Alright. By the way, uh, that's what deflecting an enemy projectile in this game looks like. Alright, so smash on down through here. Uh, let's see. Hey. There you go. Alright, now if you fall down there, you gotta fight some people, so just swing across and avoid that. Uh, but then there's, you got these bastards to deal with. Alright, so then. Jumper, jumper, Alright then. Uh, I think you can go down here. Okay, no, it's just, uh, some manliness points. Alright. Come face your death. 
Ha! You see? I did get him. It just, it's hyperly delayed for some reason. Huh. Alright. Uh, let's see. What else? What's there to talk about right now? I suppose, uh... We could talk about the ass smash, as I'm guaranteeing it's actually supposed to be called, because... What else would it be? He's literally flopping down on his ass to push buttons. And, uh, I'm, I bet you guys noticed, uh, Patrick swinging across the platforms with his tongue attached to a giant ice cube. Uh, as, if you remember, that was originally Sandy's move. Ah, sweet, Disco Star. This is an easy, this is a pretty easy challenge. But, you can't play Sandy in this game. Sad, I know, but the Spongebob movie was more or less about Spongebob and Patrick, not Sandy, so, makes sense. So unfortunately, you can't glide at all. All right, so so this is fairly uh, well. Sometimes it's fairly easy, oh, motherfucker. All right, let's. Oh, hold on, I want the, I want this. All right, there we go. So basically, you just don't touch the red platforms, and if it's yellow, get the fuck out of the way. Let's see. All right, there it is. Well, if you get the pattern down, it's actually not that hard. Oh, God. You just you just gotta be quick, I suppose. Just be very, very quick. And sometimes the pattern is very random, so just be aware of that. Alright. So that wasn't so hard, was it? Alright, thought I wasn't gonna make that for a second. Now, uh, a quick question. Were any of these, uh, were any of those character models actually in the... Dug Tug from the actual movie. I don't recognize any of them. You know, really, the only ones I do remember is uh, the guy who falls over in his chair, and then there's uh, the guy who uh, went on the bubble blowing baby hunt, as they called it in the movie. Uh, <laughs> I, I will, I will. That movie will always make me laugh. It's, like, in the Thug Tug, I think, like, the funniest part was, uh, when Patrick says, Can I have everybody's attention? And they all just crowd around him, looking like they want to fucking murder him. <laughs> and he just sits there with that dead, stupid face. <laughs> oh my god, that movie. That movie is so great. It, it definitely has to be in my top ten favorite movies. Also, the line he gave to, you know, after he asked for everybody's attention, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Holy shit, that was... Great. Oh, man. Boom. Alright. You know, there's just barely enough time to pick yourself back up and dodge his next attack. Alright. There we go. Right. Let's jump over there. Grab that. And I can just grab or blow that up. Look at that. So much destruction. Go ahead and swing on over. That's gotta be painful too. Poor Patrick's swinging on over by his tongue. Alright. Uh, let's see. I think, uh. Oh, this is a combat arena challenge. Alright, let's do this. I can do this pretty easy. As soon as the thing loads. I really. Why such long loading times? Alright. Defeat all the enemies. Wait, one out of three. Are you ready, kids? Set. Go. You goddamn know I'm ready. Actually, we're not ready. You know what I you know what I really should do? Here I think is a good time to upgrade uh, SpongeBob's bash ability. Now does that not look painful? You have no idea. <laughs> Just oh god. Okay. Jesus Christ. Alright. So many fucking enemies on the fucking thing. Alright, good. Now watch this shit right here. Alright, so it sticks into his ass. And then he literally blows up. Now is that not the coolest attack ever or what? Alright, so these guys are actually taking... Motherfuckers. They're taking two hits to kill. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and real quickly upgrade Spongebob's Karate Spin. It's pretty much the same as Patrick's spin attack. Uh, it, it uh... Deflects enemy projectiles, which is very helpful. 
Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try doing that on the guys who float. All right, let's do this. Set, go. It should also take out the main guys pretty easily. Let's test it. All right, one hit. Yes, all right. Ha-ha, <laughs> bitch! All right, where is he? All right, there's a couple of them. Shoot, I was I was not paying attention. I was trying to pay attention to the timing of, you know. You know what? I can pay attention to that real fast. All right, you know what? Can I? Fuck no! I gotta stop playing around, or else I'm gonna die. All right. You know what? You move away from that. All right, he's dead, and it blew up the blew up the barrel too. Die! Christ, there's too many of you. Uh, all right, there's a couple. Go to hell! All right, you know what? That attack's coming right for me. Boom! You are dead, bitch. All right, now comes the hard part. No more playing around. We actually gotta we gotta sit down and fight these motherfuckers. Here we go. All right, one down. Well, shit, a lot down. Okay. Boom, boom. You're dead. I'm just trying to take out these satellite bastards. Oh, if I can just, if it will detonate. Yes, okay, got a lot of them. Okay, also, can we talk about how the enemies are literally exploding to bits? That's quite brutal for an E-rated game, I must say. Look at them, they're literally exploding to bits. Their fucking eyeballs are coming out. Like. That's quite extreme for an E game. Like Christ, you see this shit happen in Call of Duty. Okay. All right. Wait, did he just say turn to Cinder? Yikes! Brutal SpongeBob. All right, there we go. Huh? That was a lot to deal with. Still just one man manliness point for each machine that blows up. But we still get a Goofy Goober token. That's pretty awesome, right? Awesome. Now let's uh get on back to the game. Get on back to the thug tug, I mean. We're on a baby hunt. I don't think we don't know how to weed them out. <laughs> ah good good times. Good times. I think that I think that happened when they were going through that boneyard with the giant fish. Actually, now that I think about it, I think that might be next. There we go. Awesome. Alright, come on, get back up there. Ha! Pecking like a chicken. Like he did in that one episode, I think it was called Pressure, where Spongebob and Sandy keep trying to figure out which is better, sea creatures or land creatures? Spongebob, Patrick, and Squidward are all scared to go up on land. Sandy calls him chickens, Patrick's like, we are not chickens! Throwing popcorn down on the ground, he's like, oh, my popcorn! And pecks at it like a chicken. Ah, uh, that was just a great moment of Patrick. What? Ah, shoot, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to do the flop attack. I meant to, you know, spin at them, but no, that's not how it worked. Don't fall in the molten lava. Why does a bar have molten lava inside of it? Now that I think about it, why? Just, I, I get you wanted the bar to be manly, but Jesus Christ, there's, there's this thing called overkill, and you're doing a lot of it right now. Look at it! It's an entire room filled with lava. This has got to be, this room's like got to be a hundred yards across. It's just the floor is lava. Why? It's just why? All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and bash this. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. How much of a man do I have? Alright, go ahead and bash through here. Get a couple uh manliness points. We can go ahead and cross through here. Alright. Drawing fruit. Yeah, I don't have that ability yet, but we'll get it later on. For now, let's just continue on through here. Alright, so this is fairly easy to cross. Can I get that? Nah, not gonna work from that altitude. But from right there, it will. Alright. Alright. Oh! Okay, apparently I can detonate them. If I detonate them just right, they won't hurt me. That's interesting. Hello. What do we have here? A lot of freaking manliness points, that's for one. I'm gonna collect all these real fast, because they're just gonna respawn once I get out of that challenge. Uh... Hey, look at that! I have another upgrade available. I'll save that for later. Uh, go ahead and break all these. Ah, uh, alright, let's get up here. Okay. Ah, oh, sweet, another SpongeBob challenge. Let's do this. Oh, well, that was actually a little bit quicker than I expected. Go. Alright, so. Head on through here. Careful. Careful, careful, careful. Alright. Alright. Alright, don't. I can't. I can't get too greedy for manliness points here because. Y you might fall off if you get greedy. No, you're definitely going to fall off if you get too greedy here. Alright, well, this is fairly easy to cross. Ah, I see. Alright, there we go. Ooh, 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 oh! Ooh, that was fucking close! Holy shit! Okay. Alright. Wait for it. Fall off. Do not fall off now. Whew. Alright, there we go. That was a bit shorter than I expected, but got through it! Got through it. Alright, alright, let's keep let's keep on going. Alright, now we're back. And look, all those barrels respond. So, if you don't mind, I'm going to take a quick second and blow them all up. Alright, there we go. Done breaking them. Now we can head back and finish off the thug tug. Uh, what? I don't want that headache? I, I don't know. I don't know what he just said. Maybe somebody can find- maybe somebody else knows what he said. Okay, that... Do what- nah, nah. I, I'm not gonna bother. Because if I do, I'm gonna go down into that water and die instantly. And really, I got better things to do than die instantly. Alright, there we go. He's dead. <laughs> Alright then, let's... How does that not rip off your tongue? What? Okay, why wasn't- why wouldn't the attack work? There we are. Okay, whatever. I don't get you anymore, game. Alright. Awesome. Alright, let's move on. Oh look, the key. the key. How much of a man do I have to be? A lot more. Ah, yeah, this challenge. We'll come back to that at a later date because I know I don't have the power up for it yet. Let's just go ahead and slide on down through here. And the game froze for a second. All right, let's do this. Let's keep going. You know what? 
I think now would be a good time to show you guys the cartwheel power-up. First you get that awesome image. And then, watch this shit. You now have a force field around you. That doesn't work on the guys with the dogs. Shit, I need a Krabby Pat. Fuck, I got two of these guys to deal with, and the hit detection only works when it wants to. All right, I was lucky there. I was super fucking lucky. Don't let it get away. I think we've got the key now, Patrick. I also think you can get off of me. Just be safe. <laughs> you know. All right. So now the this force field will destroy anything around it. Fucking awesome, I know. 